Do you ever feel overwhelmed by the ever-changing world of technology? Tech It Out can help make some sense of it all. Breaking down geek speak into street speak, technology columnist, author, and TV personality Mark Saltzman covers consumer technology each week for every listener. Mark tackles the latest news, reviews, and how-tos to help you understand what's hot, what's not, and why. Hey everyone, welcome to Tech It Out, episode 122. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. I'm recording this on Thursday night. I just landed back in Toronto from Los Angeles. Very long day. Not sure why I said Toronto. I never say it like that. It's Toronto, you know? Weird. Okay, anyways... I uh, got up at 1.30 in the morning to be on set for 2 a.m. for makeup and rehearsal. Then we went live at 3, where I went across the country between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. via satellite to talk about some great games and gadgets ahead of the holiday season. We called it Tech the Halls, and it was a fun segment. It was like a green screen studio where we made it look like I was at Santa's workshop at the North Pole. Uh, So it was a fun, fun segment, but I'm tired, you know, not a lot of sleep. And then a five-hour flight back. But I'm home, and I'm here recording Tech It Out for this weekend, and I am excited about it. We have four great guests to get to this hour. We're going to kick things off in a moment with Epson to talk about its EcoTank printers that have enough ink that lasts up to two years crazy. We'll catch up with Epson to learn about that in a moment. Then we're going to drop in with Carly Noblock, a technology lifestyle expert about some recommended gadgets for the holidays, including smart home tech, music gear, coding kits for the kids, and more. Things that you may want to pick up for a loved one or yourself, why not, over the holidays or Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Those uh, are coming up, of course. And speaking of Black Friday, we're also going to talk with one of the biggest deal sites on the web and biggest apps, It's called SlickDeals.net. We'll talk with their tech editor about big deals for Black Friday and how SlickDeals.net works and so on. I just wrote about Slick Deals, in fact, and also did a video about them as well. I didn't know there was an an app. I thought it was just a website. They've been around for like 20 years, since 1999. So we're going to catch up with them. And then finally, on this weekend's Tech It Out, it's the 10th anniversary of Angry Birds, believe it or not, the beloved and iconic mobile phone game franchise. And so we're going to hop on a call with someone from Rovio in Finland. Those are the folks responsible for the game series and talk about its success and a campaign that they've got to celebrate this big milestone. All of this and more is coming up on this weekend's Tech It Out. All right, let's kick things off. Stop me if this sounds familiar. You've got some handouts to print for a boardroom meeting in the AM or your child tells you they need to print out a book report for the morning, but you realize your printer ink is virtually gone. You don't have a spare and yep, it's 9 p.m. So stores and copying centers are closed. Sound familiar? Well, this wouldn't be an issue if you had an Epson EcoTank. Joining us to chat about what makes these all-in-one printers unique, we've got Epson's product manager on the line, Howell Yao. Welcome to the show, Howell. Thank you, Mark. It's great to be with you. Now, before we talk about EcoTank, please tell us a bit about Epson. What should we know about the company and what might we not know? Sure. Most people are familiar with Epson's printers, projectors, and scanners, which you can find in most retailers that sell those kind of things. But Epson is actually in a lot of product categories that many are not aware of. Products that extend those product lines like industrial printers, textile printers, or large form, large venue projectors um, to completely different types of products like manufacturing robots, and augmented reality glasses. So a lot of people are not familiar with with those kind of products that we make. Epson, um, we have a long history of inventing innovative technologies and then designing great products around them. Oh, cool. And the smart glasses that you've got, that's the Moverio family of eyewear, right? Right. Exactly. All right. Well, I'm a geek, so maybe I did know that about Epson, but you're probably right. Most people know you as the printer company or maybe your home cinema projectors, which are great. I have, right. one, I have one in my home theater as well. So it's been said that good technology solves a problem. When it comes to EcoTank, what did Epson set out to achieve? Tell us about it. So in a nutshell, EcoTank printers were created to address some of the most common pain points faced by people who print. Um, a lot of what you were talking about at the beginning of our conversation. Uh, People are frustrated with dealing with ink cartridges that cost a lot, have to be replaced often, 
and seem to run out at the worst possible times. Mm-hmm. EcoTank printers address these problems by getting rid of cartridges altogether. So instead of cartridges, each EcoTank printer has an integrated set of ink tanks built into it that you then fill using bottles of ink. So instead of getting little cartridges of ink, you're getting bottles that, for many of the models, will last you up to two years with each set. Up to two years, which is amazing. And I can attest to that because I use EcoTank in my home office and I'm a heavy printer. So that's up to two years worth, or I've also heard the numbers, you know, up to 7,500 pages in black and up to 6,000 pages in color. So these are bottles that you actually get in the box too, right? I mean, this isn't something that you buy, take home, and then you're like, oh, I got to go back to the store and get those bottles. It's included. Oh yeah, definitely. So every, every EcoTank comes with a set of bottles in the box. And then when it is time to replace those ink bottles, not cartridges, they are relatively affordable compared to cartridges, if I'm not mistaken, yet they have a much greater yield. They have a lot more ink and they're easy to use. They're easy to fill. Right, right. When you, when you finally do run out of the uh, ink that's included in the box, you can save up to 90% on each replacement ink bottle set versus cartridges. Uh, and just to give you an idea of how much ink you're really getting, each replacement ink set is equivalent to up to 80 individual cartridges. So if you think about that, you're, you're getting a lot of ink and, you know, you're saving yourself a lot of trips to the store with a good ink. And going back to the ease of use, the ink bottles now have these little sort of tops that latch onto the EcoTank printer. So they kind of lock in, they twist on, so you don't spill ink around your printer. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because to me, that's one of the really cool parts of our latest EcoTank models. We have what we call our exclusive EcoFit system for ink filling. So first of all, each bottle is has a uniquely keyed tip that only fits with the right ink tank. So there's no way to put the wrong ink in the wrong tank. And second, like I think you just mentioned, each bottle has a valve to help prevent spilling. All you have to do is dock the bottle onto the tank and let it go. Um, The tank will hold the bottle, so you don't even have to hold it. You You can just put it there. It'll automatically start filling, and it'll automatically stop when it's full. So you don't have to squeeze it. You don't have to worry about overfilling or anything like that. Uh, I think our designers did a really great job with this system Mm -hmm. to make the filling really simple and easy. And at least with my EcoTank, I don't know if the whole family of them have this, but I can see how much ink is left outside of the printer. There's a little like see-through area that shows you the level of the black or the cyan, the different colors. Is that across the board or just in the model that I happen to have, the 2760? That's in all of our current EcoTank models. So you have a little ink window where you can just look and see how much ink you have left. Most of the time, you still have a lot left. <laughs> We're chatting with Howell Yao. He is a product manager at Epson on the EcoTank side of things. These all-in-one or multifunction printers that include enough ink to print up to two years, believe it or not. And speaking of multifunction or all-in-one, I kind of use those two terms interchangeably. Let's just confirm that these are not just wireless printers, but they also are scanners and copiers as well. Yeah, it depends on the model, but yes, almost all the EcoTank printers also do scanning and copying. Some also have auto document feeders and fax capability, things like Mm -hmm. that. And because they're on your Wi-Fi network, you can print also from smartphones and tablets and other devices. It doesn't just have to be a computer. Yeah, definitely. That is for all the EcoTanks. All of the EcoTanks support mobile printing, as you said, on your tablet or your phone. I heard that the newer models support voice printing. What, what's that all about? Yeah. So we announced that not too long ago. And yes, all of them also support voice printing. We are constantly working on building out the features, but you can use your, the voice activated printing to print out stuff like lined paper, coloring sheets for the kids. One good example is, and this is great for hands-free, is you can print recipes. That's cool. I, I've got to try that. I haven't done that yet, but I, I did read that this was a new feature that was recently added. And speaking of new, I understand Epson just celebrated a big sales milestone last month. Tell us about it. Yeah, we're really excited that we have now sold over a million EcoTanks in North America. 
and we've sold over 40 million EcoTanks worldwide. As more and more people learn about EcoTank printing and how they can get rid of that cartridge hassle, they're switching over and experiencing the benefits of being cartridge-free. And now that you've got Shaq on board to help promote Epson EcoTank printers, I think it's going to help your sales. And I love that apparently he came up with the catchphrase, just fill and chill which I think is very clever. Is that right? Yeah, Shaq has been uh, an awesome partner to work with. And when you mentioned Phil and Chill, he's at his best when he's ad-libbing and coming up with ideas on his own. So it's it's been really great working with him. Finally, how how much do the EcoTank multifunction printers start at? What models are available and where could we learn more? So the MSRPs for EcoTank start at $199.99 for our most basic home printer. But we have EcoTanks for just about any customer situation, and we're constantly working on building out and improving the lineup. More information can be found online at epson.com slash ecotank. That's E-P-S-O-N dot com slash ecotank, E-C-O-T-A-N-K. Yeah, and, and in the name is the word eco. We didn't even talk about the environmental benefits of fewer plastic cartridges. Congrats all around. Howell Yao from Epson. I appreciate your time. Epson.com slash EcoTank to learn more. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great holiday season. You too. Thank you, Mark. This show, Tech It Out, is powered by Asus, the company that creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life, including its line of award-winning laptops called ZenBooks or VivoBooks. They also have Chromebooks as well. I'll tell you more about Asus after this short break when we return on Tech It Out. Stay with us. Listen to Tech It Out whenever you want. Find the Tech It Out podcast at iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to Tech It Out. If you're kicking off the holiday shopping season by hitting the stores and your computer keyboards in search of deals or perfect gifts, well, hold up until we talk with our next guest for some great ideas. We have with us tech lifestyle expert Carly Noblock with us, and she's here to share some of her talk tech gift ideas for the holiday season. Hi, Carly. Always great to chat with you. I was just going to say the same thing. Thank you so much for having me back. And definitely tech is going to be a top gift this year, like always. So I've partnered with some really great brands today to give you that shopping kickoff inspo for when you're hitting, like you said, the stores or the keyboards. Okay, awesome. So without further ado, what will be some of the top smart home products this year? I know that's one of the most popular categories within the tech family. Absolutely. And, you know, with all the online shopping we do these days and all the packages that come to the house, our front porch really becomes holiday central. So a smart doorbell like the Ring Video Doorbell 2 is such a great gift. It's easy to install. It's super affordable. It's a really effective way to keep an eye on things at home. It's got features like 1080p HD video, motion-activated alerts, two-way audio, and night vision. You can use all of those to sort of keep track, you know, rather keep your family and your neighborhood safer and keep an eye on your packages during this busy time of year. You just want to definitely make sure that they don't wander off once they're delivered to their to your front porch. I know we're talking holiday shopping, but I love my Ring video doorbell too because I can see when my teenage kids are coming and going in the house. So it has an extra benefit, let's say. Uh, how much does the product cost? Yeah, it's one ninety nine. <laughs> and look for sales, of course, leading up to Black Friday and over Cyber Monday. Absolutely. Next, next up, Carly, what's something techie that we can get for the kids? Yeah, you know, coding is just becoming as important as reading and writing these days. So it's really great to get the kids started early. Um, iRobot, makers of robot vacuums, they've created a product called the iRobot Root Coding Robot. It makes learning to code fun and very interactive because it's got games that make coding feel like play. And kids of any age or any skill can jump right into three different levels of programming. You've got like visual tasks for pre-readers, uh, to full text coding for blooming hackers. Plus, the free companion app is packed with activities and games and all the instructions for how to code Root to do really cool things like play music, respond to sounds, and even climb up a whiteboard, which is super cool to see. Awesome. How much does the iRobot coding kit cost, and where can we learn more? Yeah, so um, you can go to iRobot.com slash root to learn more, and it's one ninety nine. 
Okay. All right. I wish I knew how to code. I couldn't write a line of code to save my life. So I wish I had this product when I was younger. All right. And now let's chat about how we can create something maybe custom and unique. We always like something that's not sort of cookie cutter as a gift. Totally. And, you know, personalized gifts, they really show people that you went the extra mile. They're so thoughtful. I've been using this company called Artifact Uprising to make meaningful gifts for years. Um, We take so many photos these days, right? Our phones are literally packed with them. So they make it really easy to upload a few, either from your laptop or from their app, and elevate them to something really, really special that will bring joy to anyone on your list, whether it's a calendar. I've got some in front of me right now, beautiful calendars that sit on these brass kind of little easels that are so elegant and pretty, Um, either those or a holiday card or a beautiful heirloom quality photo album. They're such high quality. I just finished making some from our summer vacation with Artifact Uprising. I cannot wait to make more once I have all my photos from the holiday season. Um, But they're just really beautiful quality. And um, I think people are craving sort of that like lo-fi touch in our high tech world. Um, And so so books and paper products are, are a lovely idea. But obviously, they're very techy in terms of how you make them. Okay, awesome. And I know that we can see this in action at a website that we'll get to at the end of our chat. But uh, yep. Arti- that's called Artifact Uprising. We're chatting with tech lifestyle expert Carly Noblock. She joins us on this program every couple months to chat about what's new and trending in the world of tech. We're talking about great gift ideas leading up to the holidays, including Black Friday and Cyber Monday, where you can really get a good deal on these. Next up, what will the fitness fan want this year? Oh, I have been wearing these for a while, and I really dig them. They're the Power Beats Pro from Beats. They're stylish. They're completely wireless earphones. They're made for music lovers and athletes or anyone who's just trying to get more workouts in, especially in 2020. Everyone's going to be trying to work out more. Um, They've got really incredible audio quality that Beats is known for, for your music. And they're perfect for your workouts since they're sweat and water-resistant. Uh, They've got controls on both uh, earbuds, so they're really built for taking clear calls anytime, even if you're huffing and puffing on the treadmill. Um, You get up to nine hours of listening time on a full charge, and then you can throw them in their case, which will charge them while they're sitting in the case. Um, But they have this cool feature called fast fuel charging that will give you one and a half hours of playback only after only charging for just five minutes. So if they run down five minutes later, you'll have another hour and a half. So basically, they're always ready to go whenever you need them. Yeah, I like that because I know that (laughs) folks who want to buy wireless or Bluetooth earbuds like the idea of, of untethering from their smartphone, but they know that once the battery dies, you're SOL, you know, <laughs> then you got to reach for that wired pair and try to find a, a dongle if your phone doesn't take a headphone jack. So by having that fast charge, that kind of uh, resolves that issue. How much do those Beats wireless earbuds cost? They're just under 250 Okay, cool. All right, Carly, as we wrap up, where can we go for more information or maybe even seeing these products in action? Yeah, for all of that, you can head to techgifts.tv. Carly Noblock, always great chatting with you. All the best. And I look forward to chatting again soon. Me too, Mark. Great to talk to you. Once again, that was Carly Noblock. When we return on Tech It Out, we're going we're gonna to talk with slickdeals.net about how to score a great deal leading up to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Want to follow Mark? Google him. Mark with a C and Saltzman with a Z. Breaking down geek speak into street speak. This is Tech It Out. Tech It Out with technology columnist, author, and TV personality Mark Saltzman. Welcome back to Tech It Out, which is powered by Asus. Asus creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life, including its line of award-winning laptops, desktops, monitors, smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, and much more. For those in search of incredible, visit asus.com slash us slash radio for more info. That's asus.com forward slash us forward slash radio. With Black Friday and Cyber Monday around the corner, you're likely going to do some online shopping and, of course, look for a great deal. But have you heard of SlickDeals.net? You probably have, as they're now in their 20th year, and they're now the eighth largest online shopping destination in the U.S., says the company. To give us a refresher on what SlickDeals.net is all about, we're joined on the line by Andrew Chen. He's the tech editor at SlickDeals.net. Welcome to the show, Andrew. 
Hey, Mark. Thanks so much for having me. Sure thing. Uh, good to chat with you. Now, the name kind of says it all, but what is SlickDeals.net all about? Wow. Slick Deals is a lot of things. Uh, mostly it's a website and also a mobile app for Android phones and iPhones. Um, but, you know, really it's a, a, a community that loves to save money. They love to shop and they love sharing the great deals that they find. Um, so it was started, you know, back in 1999 um, by a guy out of his uh, dorm room in, in Vegas. Uh, and it's blossomed into this massive thing where we have, I think, 11 million monthly visitors. Um, over the years, we've helped people save $6.8 billion. Oh, wow. um, and it's just, you know, people like you and me spotting something and then posting it saying, hey, here's a really good deal. Or, oh, by the way, this coupon stacks on top of this one. All about just helping everybody just everywhere. I like to say it's Black Friday every day at Slick Deals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's very community based, as you explained. So I stumble upon something online like Amazon's got this fire sale. So I share it and then other people comment and they buy it. But do you also curate your own deals or you, you have your own? You are a tech editor. So do you actually go out and handpick other deals that maybe the community doesn't find? But from an editorial perspective, you guys say, hey, you should consider this because this is, you know, 55 percent off or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a couple of different layers of curation. So if you and I find a deal, let's say you found a fire deal at Amazon, you post it on Slick Deals, that goes through the community. So people will see it. They'll vote it up or down if they like it or don't like it. They'll comment. They'll ask questions. And as it gains momentum and popularity, our in-house deal editors will take a look at that, verify that the deal is good or you know best price they've ever seen so far or whatnot. And then they'll promote it to the homepage, slickdeals.net. So when you land there, you'll know that's always the best of the best deals for the web. Uh, you know, historic low pricing or very, very close. Now, on the other side, for the news and article side where I work on, we will also curate, you know, maybe not the best deals, but it's going to be not full price. Sometimes you just need to buy something right now. You know, you need a laptop for back to school. We'll show you where to get a, a really good discount. We take a little more casual approach to it, and you can read all of our articles at slickdeals.net slash news. Are these some of the differentiators between slickdeals.net and other sites that are designed to sniff out a good deal? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think our community is the main differentiator. Um, we have a lot of people with very um, strong opinions. They're very uh, experienced. Um, they, you know, they have memories like a, uh, like encyclopedias where they know, oh, you know, two years ago was at this price. And so it's only $5 higher today. I'd say it's a, it's a good deal. Go ahead and get it. Um, you know, we have also coupon codes as well. Um, so, you know, we want to compare it to like the retail me knots or whatnot. We do all that as well. But the, you can rest assured when you find a deal on Slick Deals, it's been embedded by the community. So most likely it's going to be active and it's going right. to be really good. We're chatting with Andrew Chen, tech editor at slickdeals.net, one of the most popular online shopping destinations. So walk us through the process. Let's say you do land on the website or you download the app. How do we search or browse? What's the first thing we'll see? So when you go to slickdeals.net, the first thing you'll see is uh, today's best deals uh, in chronological order. So the, the highest one is going to be the one that most recently made it to the front page. So the front pages are our best of web deals every single day. Okay. Um, so if you're somebody who loves to window shop and browse, you can pretty much scroll forever. Ever, and you can just look at everything that's on the front page. Now, if you have a little bit more targeted focus, you want to look for video games or computers, we do have um, category filters up at top, so you can start in a more specialized space. Um, and then if you're a regular user, like many of us, um, you can sign up for a free account, and that way you can set a deal alert. Now, I feel like the deal alert is probably the most powerful tool because all you do is give it a set of keywords. For example, you want to travel to Tokyo, Japan. You can set a deal alert for Tokyo, leaving out of uh, New York or LA, wherever you're from. And when a deal gets posted for airfare going to Tokyo or from LA, uh, you'll get an email or an app notification right away. So you can jump on it before it makes it to the front page, because when it gets to the front page, that's where everybody will see it. And things have a tendency to sell out very quickly. So when you get a deal alert, you get access access to that information before everybody else does. Oh, so you also offer things like travel and services, not just products. Oh, absolutely. Yes. The services, groceries, travel, um, credit cards, anything you can think of that's related to shopping or saving money. Um, we're experts in it. Online shopping is your focus, not retail. Uh, there is some retail too. So granted, you can't click through our thread and buy something, you know, yet when you have to go into the store, but there's also tons of like uh, what we call PSAs, public service announcements. It'll say, hey, the Walmart near me is having some sort of blowout sale. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Second last question. Any examples of some great Black Friday tech deals that you want to share with us? 
Oh man, there's so many, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I know TVs are always very popular. So, um, you know, every year these advertisement flyers get published by the retailers and there's a hundred pages, 50 pages to sift through. So what I've actually done for TVs is collect every single Black Friday TV deal in one article. So if you go to slickdeals.net slash news, you can see that there, it's my my work of, of passion <laughs> every year that I assembled this list and it's sortable. So you can sort by size, by price, by manufacturer, or by store, wherever you want to uh, uh, look for. Um, and just, you know, we do fun things like that just to help our community, you know, get to what they want faster and easier, which is uh, saving money. Awesome. All right. So slickdeals.net is the website. It's a free app from the App Store for iPhone and iPad or the Google Play Store for Android devices. And next up, 2020, any cool plans, anything you've got going? I know you now have a Chrome extension tool that lets you, uh, your members get inside info. Anything new like that coming next year? Yeah, so I think the Chrome browser extension is our uh, newest and most exciting uh, offering right now. So we're really building that out and adding more partners to it. So um, you just add, you know, add it like any other extension. And when you're shopping on one of our partner sites, like, for example, Dale.com, looking for a laptop or a computer, um, you, that extension will show today's best deals for whatever is related to what you're looking at. Um, when you're ready to check out, that extension will also automatically try every single coupon code it has in its library to see if something will work yep and then uh, it, you'll also get exclusive deals through that extension as well all right andrew chen thank you very much for your time thanks so much for carving out time to chat with us all the best great thank you so much mark we'll be right back stay with us breaking down geek speak into street speak check it out hosted by mark saltzman Welcome back to Tech It Out, everyone. Hope you're having a great mid-November weekend so far. This program is brought to you in part by Western Digital, and it's super rugged G-Technology branded Armor ATD portable hard drive. It's designed for those looking for a durable drive to bring on the go, especially for content creators like photographers and videographers. Head over to g-technology.com for more. Angry Birds, the iconic video game franchise for mobile devices, debuted almost a decade ago, believe it or not. And so the company behind the phenomenon, Rovio, is celebrating with a campaign called Bring the Anger. And they're doing so in a philanthropic way as well, which we'll hear about more in a moment. As a special treat to the show, we're joined on the line by Viale Heare. He is the chief marketing officer at Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds based in Finland. Welcome, Viale, and congrats on almost 10 years of Angry Birds. Thanks, Mark. It's it's definitely like a big big milestone for Rovio. It sure is. Did you ever think the game series would be as successful as it has been? Uh, I think that like the the early success of the game like probably probably took uh, took the company at the time by surprise. But I would say we've been quite methodical in uh, in uh, in building on top of top of the success and the global popularity Mm -hmm. and i know you've expanded to other types of games under the angry birds franchise but for those who haven't played the the core games the main ones please tell us about the the main mechanic i know it uses physics uh, for again most but not all of the angry birds games and why do you think the franchise has been as successful as it has been all right so uh, in the original angry birds story uh, a group of greedy uh, green pigs uh, get hungry and steal the eggs of the angry birds. And the, the birds obviously then get really angry <laughs> and start to get revenge, exact revenge on the pigs and, uh, and try to get their eggs back. And how, to get your, how, do, how you get your eggs back in the game is you fling the birds uh, via a massive slingshot towards these fortresses and fortifications and structures where the pigs are hiding. And this is, this is continuing forever and forever and forever. And some of the birds have different qualities, right? Some uh, have a, a super massive sort of punch at the end. Others can fling into three smaller birds. So you can tactically use the right birds in the right situation uh, in order to destroy the fort, right? Exactly. So the angry birds have separate separate birds have birds have various superpowers. So uh, one of the birds like cuts through wood blocks. One of the birds destroys uh, stone really well. One of the birds is effective against glass blocks. So it's a puzzle game. It's a it's a quintessential example of a, of a physics based puzzle game on on touchscreen devices. 
Right, right. And that's a that's an interesting distinction as well, because if arguably if it wasn't for the popularity of smartphones and tablets, Angry Birds may not have come to be. Right. So it's kind of interesting. But why do you think this franchise has become and I called it an iconic one? It really is. I mean, if you I think 50, 100 years from now, when you think back about mobile games, I think Angry Birds is one of going to be one of those beloved franchises that really helped kickstart that phenomenon. What is it, do you think? Is it the accessibility of it? Is it the cartoon characters? Is it the story? Why do you think it, it has been so successful? I think the key part is the accessibility. So in a sense, it's a very, very tactile uh, experience of, um, of like a very clear cause and effect, a very clear controls, which you can immediately grasp. And you can see like the results of your actions uh, on the screen and predict like, like how you're going to hit and how your moves are going to land and, and so forth. And I'd say that the, it's probably for many, many people, it's like the first real touchscreen interaction that they've ever had uh, of, of like this active resort that they're actually playing something or engaging with an, with an entertainment app. Right. And talk about success. Angry Birds games have been downloaded more than four and a half billion times, says the company. That's billion with a B. And of course, has evolved into motion pictures and plush toys and much more. It's amazing. So how are you, Vile, celebrating the 10th anniversary of Angry Birds? Tell us about the hashtag bring the anger campaign. Uh, So what we decided is... uh, Anger, obviously, is a negative feeling. But how can we sort of channel that towards positivity? And, and we started to define this campaign where um, uh, one of our goals, for example, is that we're working with UNICEF on this education in emergencies uh, fund uh, where we are um, activating players in the game and, uh, and the company is raising money, raising a donation towards this, this UNICEF fund. Like in the game, you're, you're supposedly very angry. You're, you're attacking like uh, uh, with your angry birds uh, and, and destroying these buildings and to complete levels. But, but what if we can turn that destruction into something positive? So anything you do, in the, everything you accomplish and do in the game like we're going to channel towards this this uh, donation uh, towards this UNICEF fund, and then obviously to to we're a fun brand, we're a quirky brand. Like uh, we've always wanted to do surprising, fun things with Angry Birds. Uh, so uh, uh, we teamed up with Spin, uh, the the scooter company in the US, and we developed the Rage Rider, which is an anger activated. Uh, mobility <laughs> device. Yeah, I saw some videos. I would on, say I saw some <laughs> videos on uh, Twitter this morning. Very, very funny. So, so basically, um, it's a, it's an electric scooter of the sort that that uh, you can see like um, uh, in many 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 cities today, and um, it's activated by a, by a by a raging and venting. So it has a microphone, and the louder you scream to the microphone, the faster the the scooter goes. <laughs> That's awesome. There's actually more to it, which we'll get to after this short break. We are talking with Rovio, the makers behind Angry Birds, celebrating its 10th anniversary. What a great milestone. We'll hear more about this fun campaign and their big donation to UNICEF and some in-game activities as well. So we're going to continue our chat with Rovio when we return on Tech It Out. Follow Mark Saltzman on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Listen to Tech It Out whenever you want. We're chatting with Viole Heyari. He's the CMO at Rovio, the folks behind the highly successful Angry Birds franchise, celebrating its 10th anniversary on December the 11th. Amazing. A decade of Angry Birds. What a milestone. Please tell us more about this Range Rider, this scream-activated scooter. So so basically, it's an electric scooter, and um, it's activated by a, by, a, by a raging and venting. So it has a microphone, and the louder you scream to the microphone, microphone the faster the, the scooter goes <laughs> that's awesome and, and i know that's engineered by spin and that's a ford owned micro mobility company so these are voice powered electric scooters that go faster the louder you vent i think that's awesome and perfect for the angry birds franchise and then you cut out a, a, a tad bit in our phone call a moment ago but the uh, hundred thousand dollar donation is between rovio and unicef right and that's their education in emergencies fund 
Exactly. So, so the purpose of the fund is to to uh, ensure uh, like school and uh, an education environment continuing for for children who are affected in emergency situations. Amazing. Uh, so we we feel that that's that's definitely definitely a, a cause that that our company can get behind. Yeah, that's terrific. Congratulations on that. How many Angry Birds games are there? Is it twenty one, twenty two, something like that? Uh, something like that. Let me actually, I need to refer you to the exact number. <laughs> okay. <I'll... laughs> so today we have eight Angry Birds games uh, live on, on, on mobile devices uh, globally. Okay, awesome. But there's eight live ones that you can still download and play today. Yep. Got it. Okay. Uh, and I also know there's ones for virtual reality and augmented reality. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing. Are there any in-game events tied to your milestone or any new games on the horizon? I think you touched on something earlier about when that players could see or do something different. Can you talk to us a bit about that before we wrap up? So on Angry Birds 2, uh, we, we have this activation around the Bring the Anger campaign. And obviously then in our other games as well, we're going to, going to celebrate the 10th anniversary by providing some classic in-game levels and, and providing content. So they, all of our live games have different, different live events that, that take note of the anniversary. Okay, awesome. And I know that the hashtag Bring the Anger is trending on social platforms. So if people want to see videos of the scooter in action or some of your other activations tied to this campaign, they can look for that hashtag or type that in. And then the website, bringtheanger.com, also will lead you to more information. Congratulations, Vile, on such a huge milestone. I'm a big fan of the franchise, and I look forward to what the next decade brings. All the best. Thank you very much, Mark. For the remaining moments that we have on this weekend's Tech It Out, I thought I'd answer some mail from the old mailbag. And you too can send me a note privately or publicly. If you want to do it privately, I'm at tech at marksaltzman.com. That's T-E-C-H at M-A-R-C-S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N.com. But you can also hit me up on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube if you want to shoot me a note there. Uh, I have a question from Leah who said she's got twin boys who are 10 and she's concerned about age ratings and age appropriateness of video games. So basically, here's what you can do, Leah, as a mom of twin boys. So before you buy the game for them, look in the corner of the box and you're going to see an age rating, T for teen, M for mature, E for everyone, and that will give you an idea if it is right for them. Then if you flip it over to the back, you'll see some what's called content descriptors. So not only will it say, I don't know, T for teen, but it'll say why. It might say animated violence or mild profanity. And if you want even more information than that, you just have to go to the ESRB website. That's the Entertainment Software Rating Board. So ESRB.com. And then type in the name of the game that your children want, and it'll actually give you specific examples as to why it received that uh, age rating. It might say, well, in the game, in the second level, Level. You can go into this tavern and drink alcohol and engage with, I don't know, you get the idea. So that's all part of what the ESRB does to educate gamers and their parents as to what the uh, content holds inside that game. So great question. So keep them coming. Again, I'm at tech at marksaltzman.com. This program, Tech It Out, is powered by ASUS, creating technology for today and tomorrow's smart life. ASUS, for those in in search of incredible visit asus.com slash us slash radio for more info that's asus.com forward slash us forward slash radio if you know someone that could benefit from tech it out maybe you like my approach of breaking down geek speak into street speak or you like the guests that i have or maybe a bit of both feel free to recommend the podcast version not everybody lives near a station that carries the show on regular terrestrial radio so you can always listen to it in podcast form so you can just search on your favorite podcast platform tech it out and maybe my name mark m-a-r-c and you should find it or you can go to my website, marksaltzman.com. That's again, M-A-R-C-S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N.com slash podcast. Wishing you a great rest of your weekend. Or if you are listening to this on demand as a podcast, whatever day it is, have a good rest of it. And we'll catch up with you next weekend on Tech It Out. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now.